Hello everybody and um, Merry Christmas. No doubt you've um, you've just watched the the little dare to dream video piece that I put together. Um, now this bit is the um, it's the making of, of, of those things because there's still something you need to know about those little presents that I gave you and um, I, I'd just like to um, say to start with is that when you watch it okay I was trying not to turn into a blub blubbering mess and um, you also have to excuse me because I have no top teeth and it's very hard to talk sometimes still got a few choppers down the bottom but um, it's a it's a it's a, it's a bit lippy yes I would like to say that you know, it's, um, I didn't actually talk about what I was doing it while I was doing it and giving an explanation or anything like that because I don't really have an explanation as to why I did it. It, it all happened one night, oh, a couple of weeks ago now, um, where I was thinking of um, what to do, um, you know, for this Christmas and this Christmas in particular because it's the first one that we've had with Aunt Margaret and it's it's a hard oh, you understand what I'm what I'm saying but it's it's the first one and, and I wanted to do the present um, uh, the, the, just to let everybody know how much I, I love them And what a special time um, it was in winter down in Tasmania. Um, it, the way that we all dealt with it and, and came together um, and supported each other was a good testament to how Margaret actually raised me, Jen, Keith and Fee. Um, and I'd like to say more on that, but I, I, I'm starting to choke up a bit now, but the way that we dealt with it and pulled together and helped everybody through um, that d difficult period um, was a truly a, a wonderful thing that was, a, I, I, I view it as a, um, it was a real growing and, or a, a growth period. Um, which is confusing um, and I, I got confused about a lot of stuff but uh, it, it, it eventually works itself out uh, and I had a, and, and after that when I got home and it sort of settled down I, I went into a, a just one of those shitty periods that I get into but anyway the whole thing about the, the dare to dream t-shirt actually came about as reality of the actual words in within the t-shirt um, I had something in mind that I wanted to do that would be really nice and I did, took that line that mum said that um, you know just do each day what, what can be done um, I, I spent an awful long time on the um, the video thing even before I actually got the colour scheme and I had some other colour schemes that weren't just you know they, they weren't right um, and then once I got the everything to that level it took it at least another hundred hundred hours to get the video tweaked and then I changed it again when it when when I had music to it but all through that um, all, th all through that, I had this one thing that I wanted to, to, to give as a, as a Christmas present. Um, and I, I, I sort of... A lot of my methodology and everything that, that I did to, to, to do this did actually come from the way that Mum used to make an awful lot of stuff. And she just used to do it one step at a time and I have a history of, of getting, how shall I put it, overexcited when I get a creative idea 
Um, but I, I managed to do it, and, and it's the night time of when is it? Oh, I did the. I, I saw only Philly today, and I got only Philly to to touch um, touch the bee up here for me, and she she was a bit sort of confused about why. Um, but that's okay. Um, but yeah. Now the. Now, as far as I can tell, um, or uh, the, you know, if you, if, if you guys want some meaning behind it, um, there is. Um, the, the, that diagram is the seed of life, um, which is what I felt mum always tried to, to, to you know, I don't know inspire in, 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 in me, I know that, um, but also uh, in all her grandchildren and all, you know, kids of the family. Um, she always had that, you know, you can do it if you, if you really, really want to. Um, and I wanted to, to do that for the, it started out for the kids first. I wanted to do something for the kids, and then it sprung into the later design of, of the, um, you know, the the DNA diagram of, or the what, what, what could you call it, a um, geometrical representation of Margaret's um, Margaret's tree from her. Um, me, Keith and Jen, and, 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 and Fee. Um, and I'd also like to say that, that um, the last week that I was down there um, with Mum, she was, she spent a lot of time talking, like we talked about a lot of stuff, but she spent a lot of time talking about um, her first stillborn child. Which back and she was really hurt by it still, and and it was it was one of the and I had spoken to her. Oh, it, it kept cropping up over the last couple of years, um, so it, it was really um, a hurtful thing. So the there's one child of Margaret's within that design. Um, it's the little, it's just the flower of life. It never actually made got into the parental stage of, of, um, of life, but that, that's, that's what life is, you know. Um, so that's the, um, that's the, I mean, I, I was going to like, I mean, it, it's, it looked obvious to me, but I, I, I wanted to, um, oh, do some representation and look, this is what I was really trying to do: was to do some represent some geometrical design, which Mum absolutely loved, and 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 you know, she, what she used to say quite often, you know, God geometricized first, and then the universe happened, or something like that. Um, but Mum was fascinated by geometric patterns, um, so I wanted to do something that reflected um, her her crochet work over her lifetime. Um, which I think it does, and, and it does for me. And it's also, um, I also like the way that, um, if you notice, right, Margaret used to suffer from what I call um, symmetrosis, which is um, everything has to be exactly the same on, on both sides. And um, and I used to talk to her about, about it quite a bit, but it's the reason why it's not quite balanced how Margaret would have had it. and. Um, And uh, she could understand the um, the design of a Japanese garden, but um, she couldn't pull herself to actually do stuff like that. So, and I always found that funny with her. Uh, but she did some, as you know, she did some beautiful pieces of work that we we've all got. Um, and as another part to the, to to the um, to the parents' plaque and the brothers and sisters, uh, well, not a plaque, but just a little picture framey thing um, was that I'm, I'm um, have I got one? I made everybody else one but me. 
No, I've got I've got one here somewhere. Um, it, and I've still got I've still got to I've still got some deliveries to do. I've still got I've got I've got a Jimmy. It's going to be slightly hard, uh, but Rhea and Carmi I can I can get to. And I have one here for John. Um, he's welcome to one, but it, it, it it's wrapped and labelled to to Uncle John. Um, it's for him to, you know, find out or, or, or want, but I, I don't know his address. Um, but yeah, um, oh, and look, oh, look at that wrapping, would you? Look at that, what a job, what a job. But um, to be honest with you, all right, if you really want the, want, want the honest to God truth about it, it wasn't me doing it at all. All I did was make it. That's that's the that's the thing. Now, well, I'll just leave it at that. You know, I'll just leave it at that. But um, I don't have a good track record of actually completing um, large-scale artistic works, which I think this is, um, just to get it print, printed out and everything. But um, I'm rambling here. I'm very sorry. Um, enjoy your presence and um, and I love you all and, and have a have a have a good Christmas oh, what did, oh that's right now the other stuff in the morning okay now just remember I was finding it very very hard not to crack up it's yeah but just so and excuse the camera work too. But anyway, thank you.